Hi everyone, my name is Denise Deskams. Thank you for taking the time to be here today. I'm going to be talking about my time as a digital organizing intern with the New Orleans Abortion Fund. Before I begin, I'll share a little bit about myself. I recently graduated from Tulane with a bachelor's in public health and international development, and I'm going to start my master's of public health and epidemiology soon. My position with NOF was supposed to be a canvassing internship, but due to COVID, we moved to a completely remote where my position role shifted from canvassing to communications and digital organizing. However, I will only be focusing on the digital organizing campaign I worked on during the summer and during the semester for this presentation. When I first interviewed with Stephanie Bangle, the executive director at the New Orleans Abortion Fund, she mentioned started a digital organizing campaign with an intern in northern Louisiana. And although I was really excited, I was unaware of how, in such a short period of time, we would be able to create a campaign that was successful. It was difficult to conceptualize the scope of our work. But this then bred light to NOF Youth Action. NOF Youth Action is a youth-led initiative designed to destigmatize abortion, educate young people about our rights, and advocate for expanding abortion access in Louisiana. In just two months, we were able to reach over 1,500 people about the importance of abortion care in Louisiana. But by the end of the semester, we had almost reached 2,000 followers. My co-organizer Cassidy and I were creating graphics, toolkits, reaching out to different organizations and individuals, and overall working relentlessly until we officially launched the campaign. We usually covered a plethora of topics, some of which focus on destigmatizing abortion care and others that were just purely informational. In the slide, there's three different informational graphics that were posted on our page. One that talked about uh, how individuals could have more than one abortion and there's very different demographics of individuals that get abortions. The second one just talked about language to avoid when talking about abortion, which is actually the first post that went viral on our page. And then the last one just talked about what reproductive justice was. The page was specifically created to mobilize and educate people in Louisiana about the hateful amendment one. And although the amendment ended up passing by an overwhelming majority, I was reminded every day that the work we did was beneficial. Over 775,000 people voted no on Amendment 1. And that number gave me the confidence to say that the work we and countless others organization did are changing the landscape of reproductive rights in Louisiana. The movement ended up mobilizing 775,000 voters to fight against oppressive systems. And I'm glad to say that the work we were doing at NOF, that we were doing at NOF Youth Action will not stop after that. I wanted to showcase the immense of, amount of work Cassie and I put into this page by showing you the video of a page of the page itself. So here you're able to see how many graphics we posted and the type of content that we would include. As I created a graphic after graphic and attended meeting after meeting, I forgot to stop and appreciate the campaign itself and how those long hours of work were paying off. So after our first post went viral, ultimately leading um, to very important organizations and individuals within the reproductive rights and justice world to notice us, I learned three very important things. The first one was to always create original relevant content. Cassidy and I would work hours on end researching and creating graphics that are informational, but they still appeal to a very young audience and it has paid off. Our first viral post, which was language to avoid when talking about abortion, as I previously mentioned, has been reshared by pages like the Iowa Abortion Access Fund and Shout Your Abortion. And even when it seems like we were working towards nothing, it always paid off. The second is to give people a platform to share their opinions and ideas. One of our goals with a campaign was to give young people a platform to talk about abortion access and to uplift the voices of young people to build collective power. The last one is that there will always be people that are misinformed. As an Instagram account that focuses on why abortion is essential healthcare, we receive negative and hateful comments all the time. And it is important to provide factual information and provide as many resources to individuals so they can make their own informed opinions. However, it's important to not get discouraged by misinformed and misguided comments. Although my time with NOF come, uh, came to an end recently, and it was an incredibly bittersweet moment, I'm thankful for the opportunities NOF has presented me to not only expand my knowledge about reproductive rights, but to share this knowledge with a plethora of individuals across Louisiana and the United States. 
Now that I'm graduating from Tulane and my time with NOF is rapidly coming to an, to an end, I can look back at my internship and feel immense pride. Not only in the work I have achieved, but in the dedication, love, and compassion all of my coworkers put into their work every single day. And I'm immensely thankful to have been part of the team, even if it was just for a short amount of time. I would like to give a special thank you to my supervisors, Stephanie and Catherine, who were an incredible inspiration and provided much needed mentorship during my internship. I would also like to thank my core organizer, Cassidy. Without her, this project would have been impossible. Lastly, I would like to thank Claire Daniel, Newcomb Institute, and the Donna and Richard Davis Fund for giving me the opportunity to work with such an incredible group of individuals.